Alright, so I got another problem here. It says a pile of 16 coins consists of pennies and nickels. The total amount of money is 36 cents. How many pennies and nickels do we have? So we have a pile of money here. It consists of pennies and nickels, and the total amount of money is 36 cents. So that gives me one equation right there if I think about it. Because I know each penny is equal to 0 0.01 cents, okay? And that's going to be times P. So maybe I should first say let P equal the pennies. So let P equal the pennies, and let, and what are we dealing with, nickels? So let N equal nickels, okay? So what I have here is 0.01P, right? So what I have here is 0.01P, and that's going to be plus the number of nickels, so nickels are equal to 5 cents or 0 0.05 and that's going to be times n and that all has to equal 36 cents, okay? 36 cents, now that's 0.36 cents, okay? So there's my first equation and up here it gives us a second piece of information, it says a pile of 16 coins, okay? So we know that the number of pennies plus the number of nickels is equal to 16. So that's my second equation. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for P over here, and I'm going to plug that into this equation over here. So P is equal to 16 minus N, okay? And now that I have that, I could simply plug it right in. So 0 0.01 and P, 16 minus N, and then that's plus 0 0.05 N, is equal to 0 0.36. Okay, now you just got to be a little bit careful here. I mean, it's nothing to, to really be too concerned about, but you have to distribute this out here. So 0 0.01 times 16 will give me 0 0.16, okay? And 0 0.01 times n, times a negative n, don't forget the negative n, gives me 0 0.01n. Okay, and that's how that's done. Then this is just 0 0.05n, and that all equals 0.36, okay? Now we can add these, we can combine these two terms here, so that gives us 0 0.16, and that's going to be plus 0.04n is equal to 0 0.36. And now that we have that, we can simply subtract 0 0.16, subtract 0 0.16 from both sides. And what that gives us is 0 0.04 n is equal to 0 0.20. Okay? Now all we have to do here is divide both sides by 0 0.04. Let me see if I can get that on camera there and this side by 0 0.04 and we solve for n. So what does n equal? n is equal to 5, okay? And now if we want to know p, we can simply get that by doing 16 minus 5. So p is equal to 16 minus 5. So p must equal 11. Alright, very very simple. Now to check it, we can do two things. p plus n equals 16. So n is 5, p is 11, so 11 plus 5 is equal to 16, 16 equals 16, so that part checks out, okay? Now, we can also check it by plugging back in the numbers for p and n up here and seeing if that works out. So what you can do is you can take 0 0.01, multiply that by 11, and you can do 0 0.05, multiply that by 5, see if that equals 36 cents, okay? And if you do that out right there, then you're going to find out that this indeed does equal 36 cents, okay? So it checks out in both cases.